kill it. So we gotta wait for it to grow back again. Now his soil is arid. So both he and his brother will be dead by the time. What if the dandelion was in fertile soil? What if we take the roots from Maddie and put them in Nick? Turn the kid into a Petri dish. Only better, the Petri dish can't tell you when it hurts. You want to give him his brother's infection? The very thing we've been trying to avoid since the brother sneezed? The leukemia kid's got no defenses. Which is why he'll die. But before he does, the infection will spread fast. Fast enough to tell us what it is. In time to save his brother. Do you see any other way? The infection is decimating Maddie's bone marrow. But if we give that marrow to Nick, his symptoms could let us diagnose Maddie. But it'll kill Nick. Yes. You're, you're saying we should kill one son to save the other? Nick is going to die either way. You don't know that. I mean, he's in pain right now, but. Nick's graft versus host is not responding to medication. I can change. Maybe, maybe he'll, he'll rally. Hey. My Nick is a fighter. Graft versus host is not going to go away because of Nick's sunny smile and positive outlook. Nick has survived three reoccurrences of his leukemia. He's being torn apart from the inside out. His pain's going to get worse and worse until he dies. You're just dragging it out. You have only one decision to make. You leave here with one dead son or two. You should let us do this. No! We're not giving up on Nick. Nurses say you maxed out on his pain meds. I had a nickel for every time I heard that. Pharmacy's on the ground floor. I'm gonna go get you some more pain medication, okay? gonna help. They're dying. Nothing's gonna change that. Drugs will just make it go easier. I know. Fourteen years on the planet. Most of them spent suffering. Dying before you even got to drive a car, take off a girl's bra, drink a beer. Believe me, there's plenty you haven't done. Really good stuff. Must make it hard to believe in God or fairness, or larger purpose. But your life doesn't have to be meaningless. You can save your brother. How? Oh. Only a lot worse. To him, there is nothing worse. He's gonna fire you. Even if we run a hundred tests, that only gives us a one percent chance of saving these kids. Better than zero. You don't care if you get fired? I don't know. There's gotta be a way to better our odds of 99% chance of death. You gotta know. It's not foodborne because no one else in the family's sick. You either care about your job or you don't. And Maddie's the only one who drank from that water pump in the backyard, but we eliminated pseudomonas and cholera. If you care, you fight to keep it. If you don't, you quit. I thought they lived in the suburbs. They do. Why? They've got a water pump? I, I want to do it. No, Nikki. It's not your decision. I'm dying. There's nothing that's going to change that. Hey, 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 hey. Don't say that. 
Okay? You can't give up. It's time for me to go, Dad. You gotta let me go. No. Please, son. for Maddie. Let me do it for you guys. So you won't be alone. Are you sure? No, but he is. Get Nick back to the clean room. The parents agreed to infect him. We figured out what's wrong with Maddie. Histoplasmosis. What is that? I mean, why did it fungal infection? It grows in chicken feces. The dirt that Maddie used to build his pitcher's mound must have sat under a chicken coop. Your whole neighborhood was built on top of farmland. We didn't test for it earlier because we Can didn't... Can you fix him? Full course of amphotericin. He should be fine. Hey, Nick. I mean, can you clean Maddie's marrow? Um, just like you were talking about doing it, but do it fast and get it in the Nick. I'm sorry. The reason Maddie is so sick is because the infection is attacking his marrow. He doesn't have enough left to safely take from him and give to his brother. I'm going to get better now? That's it? That's it. And what about Nick? Your brother was willing to risk his life to save you. Are you willing to do that for him? I can't sedate you. I'm too sick. Coming down. I think it has something to do with both their kids being alive, awake, and eating. The marrow transplant took. Welcome back, Foreman. You should talk to him. Tell him how proud I am? Hey, if you're ashamed of him, you can tell him that. Pride and shame only apply to people we have a vested interest in, not employees. How many hours a day do you have to spend with someone before they're basically family? Good point. But first, I gotta tell Cameron and Chase that they're violating God's will. I'm just asking you to have an adult conversation to let him know... He did a good job. He knows it. Adults don't need adult conversations, just like I don't need this conversation. 